Cool. Here we'll see how to save user data or store user data in Firebase. Now for user data, we'd be using Google data. It means if you have a Google account and if you log into your app using Google, so you'd be saving your email account, email ID, username and profile picture in the Firebase. Now, what you, what's going to happen right now? So this is my app and I'm going to click on this and it's, it's going to ask me login. So as I click on this button over here, this method should get called. And as this method get called, we'll get this Google sign in object and then we'll get the Google sign in method from it. So it will return us information about user. And then based on that account, the object will authenticate from Google that, OK, those email ID and user account exist and they're real and they're Google account. And then we want to get more information from Google because we want to send some authentication information to Firebase. So this is a Firebase auth instance. If you have a look at the top, like this one. OK, so this is an auth instance. So we're going to send this information to Firebase. So Google Firebase will use the Google information and help us let us sign in. And as the user signs in, then we'll save the user information. And then we'll navigate to home page. But before I go ahead and click, so let's first take a look at Firebase Google. Now here, this is the Firebase project I have. And here in this authentication section, as you can see for users, uh, I have some email information already. But I'm going to use a new email account to log in. And once we log in, once I log in, we'll see that over here we have users collection. And in the collection, we'll save user information like email ID, profile photo, and username like that. So what will happen if I click on this button, this method should get called, right? And eventually we'll hit this method. What is this method actually? Now this method actually sends us an account object, which is Google sign in account object. Okay, now this object actually contains a lot of information, uh, which we would be able to use them. So this account object will have email, display name, and photo URL, which is your profile photo, like that. So we have to use this information in a map format, as you can see. But actually, even before that here, we have an object, okay? Now this is object refers to a Firebase collection. Now this one refers to user U, user FR, actually a file over here. Now, if you don't want to have it like this, actually what we could do, we can just copy this and then we come over here. And then we can do collection users. So what happens, so first you need to have a Firebase Firestore instance and for that instance, you should refer to a collection. And for that collection, we will create a document. And then inside the document, we'll set this field. So that's how we're going to save information. Now, regarding this user collection, first, uh, Flora will see that if this collection exists or not. If it doesn't exist, it will create one. If it already exists, it will not create one. It will not create any new collection, but it will uh, type it will uh, insert this new information about a certain user and as it does it will use email account or email ID as a document because every email account is unique so anyway what's gonna happen so from here we pass the account information first we'll check if we have collection or not if you don't have we create one and then from the user provided information we create a document and then we'll set this information so if we so let's go ahead and check it so now here i'm going to click on this button and it will ask us to sign in so this is my email account that i'm going to choose now i already signed in now, if we go ahead and uh, refresh this authentication tab, as you see, this is the email account that we just uh, passed in. So it already worked. And then if we go to Firebase Store, uh, Firestore database, now here we see that this is the collection, but that didn't exist before. 
that for this collection we have a new document using this email id and for this document we have this fields awesome that so that's how you save user information to firebase now another thing if you don't use google account to do that that's okay eventually whatever method you use to sign in you still have to call this one this is the core part for storing data in firebase user data so if you use like uh, any kind of other email account other credentials or user information like email id and password or phone number you should pass them over here in an object and then you get those get that object and then you still have to save the data in a map format and make sure that you call set method for that thank you so much